hi guys welcome back to my channel dima here so we are back with another banger so this look is basically a glitter cut crease and um for this video we're going to start with a high so all i'm doing is concealing underneath my brows i'm not going to fill it in right now i like to fill my brows after i'm done with my beads so for now i'm just going to conceal underneath my brows and um blend it out and go in with our eyeshadow base which is also the elegant pro concealer but in yellow corrector not in cool tan So I'm just using a big fluffy brush to blend that out so we have a smooth canvas to work with. So the first shade I'm going into is that um kind of um it's a warm dark brown shade it's very warm but it's a dark brown shade and it's from the juvia's mini masquerade palette so i'm just going to use a tapered blush a, bl bl a tapered blending brush to pack that so i'm going for a more rounded kind of eye makeup look so i'm just going to use the shadow to create the shape that i want i'm not blending it yet i'm just packing in the color in for maximum pigmentation so once i pack i'm going to blend out so i'm using a burnt orange shade from another palette it's a drugstore palette i got it from aliexpress and it's not the first time it's you're seeing it on my channel so i'm just going to use kind of a small dome brush it's also kind of fluffy a little bit like a little bit fluffy so i'm just going to use that orange shade to blend out the edges of the brown and lastly we're going to go into a very light kind of um brown shade but if i go in with that shade i'm going to set underneath my brows because i don't want the concealer there to move or crease so i'm just going to set that in so it will be easy for me to blend out the transition shade so i'm just going to blend out our transition shade and go back in one more time with all the colors so that everything is popping going into a black shadow from the morphe palette yeah so i'm just going to use pencil brush to blend that into our crease and our outer V and yeah I'm just going to blend that into the dark brown and then I'm going to go back into the dark brown shade again to blend out the black so that there's no ash lines and everything is just smooth my crease off camera and this is just a half cut crease so it is me setting down the concealer in place and i'm going to take that brown shade at the outer corner to blend that into the concealer so there is no ash line as in so there's no like straight line demarcating it so everything is just like fusing into each other and then i'm going to go into the brown shade again to you know blend everything out for the um, lid color, I'm using the white shadow from the Morphe palette. I'm just going to pack that into a lid and then we're going to add glitter. I'm just doing this so that you can see through the glitters. So for glitter, I'm using the EA Beauty Cosmetic. This glitter, I cannot remember the name. 
no i think okay this glitter is in the shade ngozi so i'm just going to link down the instagram and do their glitters are bomb of nice quality i'm going to link that down in the description box so you guys can check them out so i'm going to apply a liner but i'm not doing wing liner i'm just going to stop it at the point where we apply the block sh the black eyeshadow and then i'm going to fade the edges into the black shadow and smoke it out We are going into another AA Beauty products. This is the Vivid Aqua liner in the color Vivid White, and I'm just going to activate that with water. This is an aqua liner, a water activated liner. So I'm just going to use water to activate it, and then I'm going into the liner brush and I'm going to create two lines. One, I'm going to create a line on my cut crease to sharpen the cut crease, and the second line is going right on top of our black liner. to the other eye of camera and i'll be right back moving on to our face i'm using the pond's long lasting oil control vanishing cream to prime and for foundation we're using the maybelline fit me foundation in 340 cappuccino i'm just going to spread that all over my face and to blend it out i'm using a damp beauty sponge Concealer, I'm using the Elegate Pro Concealer in Cool Tan. I'm just going to apply this to the eye points of my face. And for foundation, no, not foundation, for contour. I use the condition for contour. So for, for, for contour, not foundation, contour. I'm um, using the Fair Good USA um, foundation to contour. And I'm just going to blend out my contour face and then I'm going to blend out the concealer.
decided our concealer in place i'm using the such butter cup to set it and i'm going to press that into uh, skin and to set the rest of my face i use the um zero mattifying powder in zz 23 now we're going to do a reverse contour and bake at the same time and i'm using the laura mercier translucent setting powder to do that and then i'm going to finish my eyes off camera and apply my lashes I'm just, I'm just dusting away the excess powder and bake and um, blending everything in together. Moving on to our lips, I'm going to line my lips using the MAC um, lip liner in the shade chest note. I'm going to line my lips and then we're going to go in with the lipstick. I can't remember the name of this lipstick off my head but I'm going to show that to you guys and also I will link it down in the description box. So it's just like a, a pink 
kind of um, nude lipstick i'm just going to apply that and for lip gloss i use the super juices as usual for lip gloss and yep we are done So this is the finished look guys i love how it came out this look is super bomb and it was fun to film and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it for you guys so if you enjoyed this video feeling like thing or two give it a huge thumbs up comment down below and most importantly subscribe to my channel join the family and let's grow together also follow me on all social media platform it's adima underscore coco on instagram twitter and snapchat and i will see you guys in my next video bye